So after breaking about three headlight bulbs, trying to replace this headlight bulb on this Range Rover Supercharged Sport, uh, it's a 2011. <clears throat> I, uh, I did some YouTubing and I found how to remove the headlight assembly. And so that is the best way to do it. Otherwise, it's a big mess. I'll show you. So you can actually access the headlight bulb by pulling up here, pulling this up, kind of wedging it up there. And then you can see that I've already taken the cover off in there. I've actually already disassembled this thing. I just reassembled it just for the video. <clears throat> so there's multiple problems associated with trying to, trying to change it. Um, you can get the bulb out, but the cord for the actual bulb where it plugs in is super short. Do you see that? Super short. And so it's, it's really hard to disconnect and it's really hard to install. Honestly, I probably spent wasted hour and a half ish and broke a few bulbs and super frustrating because the other one apparently isn't as hard. I don't know. But so what you do is you click these tabs down, these tabs down, and then you just grab this thing and pull really hard. I've already done it. It sounds like it's breaking. It doesn't break. So <clears throat> the other thing you do is you click up these tabs here. There's a tab here and there's a tab here and you'll try to pull it out and you have to make sure that it aligns with this little kind of a plastic thing here, because if it doesn't, it'll just rattle around still and it won't come out. Um, and so you're gonna kind of finagle it a little bit, this one and this one, I've already, like I said, I already did it. Then you pull it out, it's pretty simple. And then there's a, there, there you have total access now. So um, you can push down on this tab and disconnect that. And then you can kind of see why it's so difficult to change this actual bulb is that this, I've obviously disconnected this before, but this is connected with <clears throat> kind of a, a weird you know, retaining device. And it has to be pushed up like that to loosen it or to disengage it. And then you've got to pull it out <clears throat> and then disconnect it gently because you don't have any cord. It was a very bad design by Range Rover. Very bad. Because why would you just, why wouldn't you just have a longer cord and you plug it in and then you can just thread it in. But you can see all these little tongs. So what happened was, is that I found out, <laughs> you can see the blood <laughs> from my finger. Um, hopefully that's not my blood. It might be though. Um, so the, uh, you can see that the, the tongs here on the outside, um, I think a few got bent. And so I re, I basically just straightened them out. And you can also see that I broke this one right there. It won't work if the, uh, if that shield isn't intact. But um, you can see that there is a, a kind of a groove here and it has to line up with the groove on the top. So this groove here, so you can kind of see it. Um, and so then it just kind of slides in um, and then you can reattach it. So you can see, here's the broken one. I'm gonna show, show you what, what not to do. So don't do this. Don't re-plug it in the actual light bulb and try to get it to go because it won't. Do you see that? You can't get it in there. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is the problem with Range Rover. They didn't make that cord long enough so you can't pull it out. So you actually, actually have to install the bulb. So you can't do it, it's not possible. And so you have to actually install the bulb before you plug it in. So here we go, so here's the good bulb. And so just gently put it in there. And then uh, you should be able to push on it. There's all of those little metal things around it, hold it in. 
And then you can push the plastic part down. Once you have it all the way seated, you have to kind of get your fingers in there and push that plastic part down. Oh, it's difficult. Oh, it wasn't seated all the way. That was it. Oh, no. So now it's seated all the way. There you go. Click. Do you hear that click? That's mm -hmm. it. And so then, then you get in there and then you plug it in. And that's it. We're going to see. Can you see? Range so then you can plug it in, but you can't have access like this if you leave this whole headlight assembly on the vehicle while you try to do this. So don't do it. Don't don't waste a bunch of money like I did on these stupid bulbs. And that's it. And then you just reassemble the whole thing. There's a cover it goes on here, and then you just kind of do everything in reverse. That's it. For today. And that's it. For today. So, then you just click that on. Find how it goes back together here. Through these attachments. It's a little difficult. This one seems pretty easy. That one goes down like that. And then this one. There we go. Push it down. Pop. And that's it. And then come back here. And then you stand back. Stand back, gosh. And then you line this up again. Where it needs to go. Give a little tap. And that's it.